Five years seems like a long wait between installments of Nintendo's popular Mario-themed party game series, but a new developer in some much-needed downtime has helped to freshen the antiquated franchise. Retooling the familiar multiplayer-focused board game fun with a deluge of new minigames and some intriguing updates to the flow of gameplay, Mario Party 9 shakes things up just enough to merit another trip around the block. But you may find that all of the changes are not welcome ones. The ever-mischievous Bowser's latest scheme has the big lug stealing the stars from the night sky for his own personal collection. It's a meager plot setup to be sure, but the missing mini-stars also serve as a streamlined form of currency for the mustached plumbers and their posse to collect on their competitive mini-game romps in order to win. They're in plentiful supply across each of Mario Party 9's elaborately designed game board worlds, though holding onto your accrued stash for the long haul is more of a game of chance than skill. Wow! Grabbing three other friends and hitting the couch for competitive rounds of multiplayer party mode is where you'll find yourself spending the bulk of your time. Instead of traveling around the board independently, everyone is piled into a single vehicle for the first time in the series. Each player's turn puts them in the driver's seat, giving them control over the dice and making them the target of any perks or pitfalls they encounter along the path. In addition to picking up stars scattered around the board, there are plenty of opportunities to earn or lose them by competing in minigames, thwarting opponents, and tackling boss battles when you land on specific squares. Stages are now linear, and the player with the most stars by the end wins, but there are so many random variables at play that you can be on top of the pile one minute, only to find yourself losing big time moments later. It's amusing to watch pals get shafted in the midst of merciless competition, though the unpredictable chaos is less enjoyable when going it alone. Mario Party 9's solo mode has you working your way through stages against the computer too, but failing to win forces you to replay the same level from scratch to progress. An aggravating prospect when most games take between 30 minutes to an hour to complete. Fortunately, the extras menu has more to hold your attention by mixing up some clever alternate minigame modes, like a stair climbing challenge based on successfully completing games, for example, that make up some for the weak single player campaign. There's also lots of bonus goodies to unlock in the museum, from new rides to extra stages as you earn party points from playing. <laughs> Stripping out player independence does put a new spin on the classic dice-rolling gameplay and make for speedier matches. It also removes some of the strategy that makes past games enjoyable. With everyone in the same boat, so to speak, much of the trickery comes from using the unique traps and gadgets built into each board design to stick it to your opponents. It feels rewarding in the rare moments when you can make it work to your advantage. <laughs> From ghosts that give chase to conveyor belts that shift the flow of progress, there's a lot of moving parts in any given level that work both for and against you. Picking up special dice with smaller or larger number sets on them helps you finagle some memorable moves, yet it still feels like too much is left up to chance. The cutthroat nature of play, uncertain rolls of the dice, and unforgiving twists of fate can wildly shift the advantage between players in a split second. Exciting as this may be, it's often more frustrating than titillating. <laughs> This time around, the all-new batch of minigames makes more thoughtful use of simpler control schemes. As expected, some are more fun than others, but it's good to see far fewer than try to shoehorn motion-sensitive functions into activities that don't benefit from them. The addition of boss battles at the midway point and end of every stage also changes things up nicely by providing opportunities to team up with your enemies against a common foe, while secretly working against them all the while. <laughs> Many of the sights and sounds in Mario Party 9 have been pulled from other adventures in the Mario universe and reworked into shorter board game stages. Every time the camera zooms out between turns to show more of the board, the series' personality shines through in the vibrant level designs. The classic settings are crisp and detailed, showing a marked improvement over other Mario Party titles and a level of polish that approaches the quality found in the Mario Galaxy games. <laughs> Mario Party 9 stands out from its predecessors with notable changes to the traditional formula that streamline gameplay and keep games moving along at a steady pace. While the spirit of these updates feels like a step in the right direction for the franchise, their execution isn't always on target. An over-reliance on random chance over strategy can quickly derail the experience when things go awry at the worst possible time. But when matches come together with the right balance, Mario Party 9 does deliver the fun this exuberant series is known for. <laughs> Star.